test site. And in here, I have a, got a lot of plugins installed to do with um, WordPress multilingual. I think it's been a little while since I've used this, so you're going to really just see how I do it. And this is how I teach. I, I teach just the same way I would do it myself. I don't prepare in advance. Um, and I do that so you can see uh, how I, how I uh, fix any problems that I have. Um, so you can learn how to do it yourself. My idea with these sessions is to, one, to show you uh, what I do and how I do it, and two, is to put the power in your hands so you don't need a developer all the time. So let's just um, get started. I'm just going to show you the front page. So what we're going to want to do is we want to put a flag up here with another language and then take it from there. So first thing, I'm going to make this my front page instead of a blog. Um, you're going to learn a lot of small tricks along the way. And I'm going to put this website into English for my sake. Um, maybe, yeah, all right, it's possible. Down here came in one of the new website, uh, new updates, and I'm just going to remove that, just another WordPress site. All right. I'm just going to pop this out to make sure I can see any questions. Cool. All righty. So let's go back to those plugins and install one of them. Uh, WordPress Multilingual, I believe, is the main one. And we'll just uh, activate that one. And I just want to change my front page here and my blog page there. All right, now that plugin is installed. Now I ask if I want to see a quick overview. Let's do it this time. Usually I just jump in. So they send you to a guide here. Um, I'll just make a note. I'll, I'll start collecting all these links so you can uh, take a look when we when we finish. So I'm just going to remove this password out the way and, uh, and this one here. And now we've got our, I'll put notes here. All right. So this, this just shows you about the plugin. It's quite a complex plugin. It's quite powerful. So you're going to really get your money's worth out of this webinar uh, and some. So let's go configure it ourselves because they're getting started guides there, but, you know, who needs one of them when you can play around with stuff? All right. I'm just going to see to make sure that I have a plugin called Backup Buddy. Yes, that's my backup plugin. Now, before you do anything in WordPress, it's important to, to make a backup so that if you mess something up, then you can easily fix it again. And I would have done this even before installing the plugin, but I, uh, I've done this a few times. And it's a test site. So I'm just you can make a complete backup or just a database. I'm just going to back up my database. Cool. No need to wait for that. So now it's going to guide us through setting it up. So current language is English. Yes. And that backup is done there. And I'm just going to download onto my computer here. All right, now we want to have Danish as a second language, and then we click Next. Language Switcher Widget. So if I show you widgets here, and I do go through this pretty fast. So this is my widgets. I use Genesis. Um, you, can, you can Google that or read more about it. I specialize in this framework. It makes things really cool. So it gives me a... A header right, which is up here, it gives me some others, but I won't, I won't go into them. So I want to put it up in that header right. This is which widget area. Or you can do it in a code. I don't touch any of that. You can also create custom language switches. Uh, display languages as the widget title. No. Display the language switcher in the menu. No. Drop down menu what to include in the language switcher. I want the flag. I want it to look like this. That looks good. 
I'm not going to go through any of that. I'm just going to click finish and see what happens. And then we just press refresh. So there we go. Let's just see if anything happens by clicking on that. Nothing yet. All right. So how to handle languages without translation. Skip the language. All right. So our problem now is probably that we don't have any languages written. So let's go in the pages here. So now we've got this option up here. I'm just going to check if you guys have written anything. Awesome. Looks good. Cool. So we want to make a second home page. So we just click here. And now we're going to call it Forsil. Yes, I speak Danish as well. I just prefer to speak English. Um, we can copy the content from English. We don't actually have any content in there. But if we did, it would copy it in here as English, and then we can translate it. But I'm just going to put in some uh, some lorem ipsum. You'll see what that is in a sec. It's just some fake text. All right, click publish. So now, if we go here, possibly we'll have an option. There we go. And now it shows for seal. Then we can go there and change back to English. And if I edit the English page, this is, wait a minute, here, see here, if I double click, oops, watch this. This text is in English. <laughs> That's built into, uh, into Mac. It's quite cool. All right. Um, let's just view that page again. So this is the original page, and it's in English. If we go here, click, it's in Danish. See how quick that was? That was amazing, huh? You guys thought this was probably quite complicated, and here we go. It's right there. I'm just going to uh, delete these questions so that it's cleaner for me. Okay, let's try and do something more complicated. Let's go into the blog. Let's have a blog post in Danish. So test blog post. This is the first one. I'll just edit this blog post. This is a blog post in English. One second, I've just got a guy in another webinar. Um, Hi, Peter. Um, you're in the wrong webinar. Uh, can you? Uh, I'm just going to send you a link. Um, can you just check your email? You're going to have to log in a different place. Sorry, we're right in the middle of it. All right. Uh, excuse me just a second. I've got another person who's quite important in, a, in another webinar. Um, and I'll just make sure that he, he comes in. Hey, Peter, can you just check your email, please? You got it. You're in the wrong webinar. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's get back to it. This post is in English. Hello, Philip. Can you hear me, Peter? Sorry, guys, I don't want to miss anyone out. Cool. All right, so we got this post in in, the, in English. There we go. Now we want to see it in Danish. So I'll just close some of these. Um, oh, this is the post. All right, so edit. Now we want it in, uh, in Danish, so we click Translate. Copy content, see? Publish. Oh, um. I forgot to change the title because, of course, that should be in Danish too. All right. 
So now it's showing days, change it back to English. So here we, let's go back here. So we're on the blog. Let's change, uh, okay, the blog only has Danish. Oh, here we go, another page. You can see there's a lot of work involved. Yes, you're in the wrong meeting room, Peter. You're going to have to check your email and log into the different one. Sorry about that. All right, so change it to Danish. No, sorry, I'm confusing you guys. Click here. Dance blog, publish. Let's go home, change it to English. You can see it changes the menu too. We'll get to that later. Blog, let's see if we can change it to Danish. There we go. So here's the Danish blog. And here's the Danish. It'll only show the Danish post because it's translated. So now we can see that we have a Danish front page, a Danish blog, and a Danish blog post. Now what we're going to do is make the menu so it's different. Do you have any questions so far? Just to, to make sure I'm not losing anybody or anything. Just put them in that little uh, questions box. And I'll try to figure. All right, here we go. I thought I saw. No, okay, awesome. Okay, so now we're going to make a second menu. How do we do this? Synchronize menus between languages. No, click here. So now we're going to make the Danish one. Danish menu, language, Danish, create menu. Now, this, we only have two, two pages at the moment. So we just add them. Automatically add new top level pages. Let's check out how it looks. So now we've got Danish, now we've got English. You can see, and this is so that you don't, you know, you get a lot of those old fashioned chemical uh, websites where, where they have one page in English, one page in Danish, and you click the flag and, and half of it's English and Danish and it just looks terrible. Well, this is how you stop that and it's so simple. You can see this just works. Let's keep on.